afternoon YouTube bringing you another car review today I had this as a loaner vehicle for the last couple days it's a 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport it's got a 3.6 liter v6 I think an 8-speed automatic transmission but don't quote me on that one pretty base model cloth interior stock wheels and everything but had it as a loaner had to drive it in a parade for some uh, friends and family of mine and loaned it from a dealership so they let me have it for a couple days so figured I'd give you all a review of it so this one is painted in the yellow paint with a soft top it has a black cloth interior and it is a 2019 for a base model it's fairly loaded it's got all the amenities it's got power windows power door locks power mirrors infotainment automatic transmission four-wheel drive it's got a lot of it's got leather steering wheel a lot of nice textured plastic throughout it double tiered console again black cloth seats front and rear with a vinyl soft top <coughs> it does have a six speaker stereo system in it and it has Sirius XM. This does have push button start. And here's the window sticker for this particular Jeep in general. And this total one totals for a price of just under $39,500. Uh, fuel economy rating for this one is 18 city, 23 highway, 20 average. So, and this is a 2019 4x4. So, to open the hood on these, you just pop these latches off under and tilt it to the right on this particular one and we have a 3.6 liter v6 which is typical for most uh, fiat chrysler products nowadays produces just over 300 horsepower and about just under 300 foot pounds of torque in this particular model so it's got plenty of get up and go to it got nice paint on it power heated mirrors and it does show on the doors here I don't know how well you can see that it says t50 right there on all the hinges so you can know what size to use to take the hinges off your power windows are located here in the center console you have a large media outlet with an aux port a USB and a USB C port you have the Jeep on top of your shifter there you have four-wheel drive shifter 12 volt outlet two cup holders moderate sized glove box I don't know if you can see that but you got the little Jeep crawling on the windshield here more little Easter eggs everywhere this one does have the factory option Jeep floor mats which look kind of like a topographic surface throughout the interior front and rear you got the Jeep there in the center and over on this side you have a pickaxe and a shovel and your rear power window buttons are here two cup holders Rear bench seat. Moving around to the back, you got the spare tire with your rear view camera there in the center. On this one though, you don't really have a folding out soft top here, so you kind of have to go underneath and into the rear of the vehicle. You got a 12 volt outlet over here. Eh, decently spacious. You got your roll bar up top, rear seat, which you can fold down. You got the little JL information plate over here for your JL Sport Utilities. You got the specs of your two-door, your four-door, uh, what you can do going into the water. Made in the USA, developed in Auburn Hills, Michigan, built in Toledo, Ohio since 1941. LED tail lights and headlights all around. You got your fuel cap. Coming into the back on this side, you can see again the topographic maps, the Jeep in the center, the pickaxe and shovel. Hopping into the vehicle now, you'll have the key, which is this large key fob, very thick, a little large for my taste with lock and unlock in it. You do have a folding out key for the driver's door and the rear boot. This is Jeep on the back, and to start, just put your foot on the brake, start the vehicle. 
full comprehensive gauges. You got the Wrangler there in the background with the Jeep traversing across the bottom. You have a full selection of menu options for your speedometer, vehicle info on battery, your pitch and roll, <coughs> which changes but can only be used up to 25 miles an hour, fuel mileage average, trip info, start stop metallica which is your band or whatever you have playing for your radios stored messages if you have them okay for screen setup and back to your mile an hour i like the gauges they're actual real gauges very nice led backlit they're very bright at night over on your door panel you got your power locks power mirrors door handle cubbies down the bottom paperwork nice infotainment screen climate control down here also up here you got your standard radio typical in most fiat chrysler products for the last mm, three to four years very easy to work very easy system get your e-brake so. hope you enjoyed this review uh, if i have it a little longer i may be able to get a driving review out of it if not i may be able to get it another day thank you all for tuning in and see you on the next one